a big part of learning networking and telecommunications is to get more familiar with various protocols used in the field. A protocol in networking refers to the rules that govern interactions between hardware devices or software processes. The types of interactions in this case include things such as exchanging messages, sending files, and anything you need to do to provide a service in the context of networking and telecommunications. When these interactions happen, you need rules, otherwise a chaos will follow. So for example, let's say that uh, you're trying to call somebody and have a conversation and sort of an implicit rule is that you don't talk at the same time when you're speaking on the phone. You always let one person talk first and then you wait after the person's done talking and then the other person's talking. So in that case, the protocol is not talking at the same time. HTTP is a real-life example of a protocol in networking. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. In the HTTP protocol, there are two roles played by the participants of the protocol. For example, a client in the protocol, in this case, is a web browser and the server in the protocol is a web server. And the rule is that always a client makes a request and sends it to the server, the web server, and the web server receives the request and based on the request, the web server returns a file back to the client, in this case, a web browser. A server never makes a request to the client. All it does in this case is providing its service, namely sending files back to the clients based on their requests. They also exchange some special messages just to signal that things went well. For example, if the client receives 200 from the server side, that means everything went well and the server is ready to provide the service. A synonym of protocol is standard. So when you say a protocol, it's the same as saying standards. There are mainly two different types of standards or protocols. One type is proprietary, the other is open. Proprietary means that the standard is controlled by a vendor or a company and the details of the protocols probably are not available to the public. However, an open standard or protocol discloses all its details to the public. So that's really the main difference. The danger of somehow adopting a proprietary protocol is this idea of vendor lock-in, meaning once you start using a particular proprietary protocol or standard, your freedom of choosing another protocol by another vendor or an open standard or protocol provider will get limited because the next choice may be dependent on the current choice. The number of protocols or standards is growing as the number of network applications is also growing. As I told you earlier, learning how these protocols work in general is a big part of learning different topics in networking and telecommunications.